Welcome to the Land of House YouTube channel. I'm Seth. For the past five months, I have been building a 20 by 30 workshop, and it's finally time to get to the power systems installed. Now, before I've installed this uh, big inverter, which will power my main circuits, but I've also got the Orient power system, which I've also made a video on in the past, but it's time to actually get this on the wall and see how well it operates. So I will show you the battery and inverter and where I'm gonna put it, and then I'll show you what it looks like to have this thing under a much heavier load. So let's go ahead and get this installed. I've actually already been using this system for a couple of months to power up things here in the shop. I've got uh, 1,000 watts of solar that I've been plugging directly up to the MC4 connectors, as you see down here. Uh, quite a lot of dust on this thing, too. Uh, so this is a 5 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Orient Power, and this is their 6,000 watt single phase 120 volt inverter. So uh, I've been using this to power up my studio lights and run saws and all kinds of stuff here. Um, but what I want to do is go ahead and mount these two on this wall over here. I'll have the inverter up top and the battery down below, and that will hopefully get them up and out of the way so I can use this closet for other things. Now in the future, I will show you some of the uh, breakers and switches and other things that I'll have in here. But for now, we're just going to be installing the inverter and the battery so that I can get this up off of this box and uh, looking a bit more professional. I'm gonna start off with a single screw to put up here for mounting this. I'm gonna go up pretty high. Don't have to go all the way in just yet. And I'm gonna take the inverter and get it placed onto that screw. There we go. And I can go to the other side over there and get the other one with a level. Just going to set a level up here on top of this inverter so I can figure out where I need to put the next screw. The inverter is installed now. It's time to work with the battery. This is the mounting plate for putting the battery on the wall. Now the battery is going to stick up about two or three inches above this metal plate. So I want to put this in here that will give me enough room to pick the battery up and slide in here, but also give me close enough space that the cables I have will reach around the battery and go into the inverter. So I'm thinking about right here ought to do it. So I'm going to use uh, four different anchor bolts. And let's just go ahead and put the first one in right here. And we will move the others around accordingly. Actually move it over, get this about right there. I have a drill bit that is slightly smaller than the threads on my anchor bolt. So I can go ahead and pre-drill. I'm gonna put a washer over the anchor bolt, get my bracket, go ahead and put that anchor bolt into the bracket. And on my drill, I've got a socket. Just makes this kind of work go a lot faster. You get that close, but not all the way tightened down because I need to use a level here. Make a mark on this one. While it's here, I might as well go ahead and mark the others. I'm going to finish tightening these down with a socket set to make sure they are nice and snug. The weight of this battery is right at 100 pounds, so hopefully I'm able to get this up here on the wall without too much trouble. Uh, but it's definitely probably worth doing this with two people. Luckily, it does have handles on the side to uh, aid in the pickup. Uh, so let's see what I can do about sliding the battery onto this bracket. Yeah. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh. 
Oh, there we go. Just a little off to the side. Whew, heavy. I now have the inverter mounted up here and directly underneath is the battery. Now, one happy accident that's happened is that the control board has wires connected to it and so they have to be uh, supported. So I can remove this panel and it will rest on top of the battery and I won't have to disconnect any of the cables. So let's go ahead and open up the inverter case and get this installed with the battery cables down here on these terminals. There are screws that need to be accessed here on the side. This actually has several screws that will be installed, but I just had two of them in there to uh, support this while I was getting it mounted. Okay, I can take this off and just let it rest right down here for the time being. The red and black terminals are over here. I'm going to remove the bolts that are on there so I can get these battery cables installed. I'm going to run the red wire up into the hole in the bottom of the inverter and then reattach that nut there. Likewise, the black cable needs to go up into the hole and attach to the black terminal up under here. Get that nut screwed on there as well. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use some 12 gauge wire to power up my breaker box, but it will be properly wired uh, in the future with some uh, bigger gauged wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the neutral ground and hot wires in here and then get this screwed into place. All right, and for now, I can reattach the cover here. Now this wire did pop loose a little bit, so let's go ahead and reattach that. Up under the battery, I have the breaker turned off and the battery is also turned off. This is the red terminal and the black terminal. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the red cable first here. Now it's important to make sure you don't have any washers between the terminal and the battery cable, but it's totally fine to have the uh, washers on this side of the, uh, the terminal. Go ahead and unscrew the black side over here. Now and the battery is turned off, but just to make sure I don't have any issues with an arc, I've got a resistor here. It's a 10 watt and 100 ohm. I'm just going to touch right here and touch this. Basically, if there were any charge to occur, it would be very slow and not sudden. But with the battery turned off, we should not see that anyhow. All right, go ahead and get this up in here. And once again, just making sure that's slowly charged. Yep, no worries. With those cables in place, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the battery. Battery is on, I can flip on the breaker. That has now sent power from the battery up here to the inverter. I can go ahead and push the power button. There we go. The inverter is now turned on. Let's go ahead and plug up something to my building here and see if it's ready to output the power. This light switch here will turn on a light which is connected to this inverter. Very nice, we have power. Let's check the current state of charge on the Orient Power battery. Go into the analog info, 53.14 volts. We can go down here and go to cell capacity. We are at 72.19%. Very cool. In order to keep this battery charged up, I do have a thousand watts of solar outside that I'm going to connect. So let's go ahead and plug these up so we can see the uh, power going into this system. This does have an MPPT charge controller. So let's see what it's gotten up to real quick. 90 volts on the panel, 0.2 amps. 25 watts coming in because it is a very cloudy day out today. 
We'll let that rest for just a minute and see if it picks up a bit more watts. The Orient Power 6,000 watt inverter in combination with the five kilowatt hour battery is a slick looking system. It goes together really well. I especially like their swoosh there on the front. So as we saw before, we now have the solar connected here and it is still only doing in the 20 watts because of the cloud coverage outside. Um, so that's that. But uh, as far as the system goes, it is just a 120 and I'll have to have uh, a lot bigger cable than just this uh, 12 gauge here in order to run 6,000 watts. But to be honest with you, if you do the math on this inverter with the battery, uh, that's not gonna be achieved anyhow because of the amperage limitations there. Uh, so uh, I'll probably be using an eight gauge to go from here to my breaker box, and that will be sufficient to carry the amps that I'll be using. And like I said a moment ago, these two solar wires will be going through a breaker, and I'll have that mounted over here. So the solar wire will go into that breaker and then continue out of that so I can easily shut the solar off instead of having to unplug up under there. All right, so the inverter menu itself has a bunch of settings, and pretty much all I've been using is just scrolling through uh, to see what is coming in from solar. Um, but, so you can see here, the MPPT charge controller is active and it is going DC to AC. It's charging the battery and we've got a DC to AC up here and that is going out to my uh, loads, which the loads right now are basically zero and the battery you can see is a little over halfway full. So this is how I'm gonna be running my system as an off grid. Now you can connect the grid power to this as well. But uh, for my needs, I'm just going to be going straight from solar power into the inverter charge controller, which will keep my battery full. And then from there, it goes back out to the AC and it will be running very specific circuits here in my workshop that I've got. So the uh, top box you see up there will be run by the Lux power and the bottom breaker box will be run by this for off grid stuff. So. Basically in the future, instead of having this Romex, I will have a conduit coming out with eight gauge and that will go over here into this box to be able to run those circuits right there. It's just some lights and receptacles. <coughs> that beep means that the solar cut out because it is so cloudy outside. I may have to find a way to turn that off so that it doesn't beep while I'm filming videos in here. This has been just a very basic install of the inverter and battery system from Orient Power. I have been using this now in my workshop for almost two months, and it has run all kinds of things in here, from charging power stations to running shop lights, saws, and all kinds of stuff. So I've been very pleased with the way this has been operating. I'm uh, gonna be using this now for another probably month until I get my battery system for this other inverter installed. And so uh, definitely we'll put it through more good use. So definitely stay tuned for seeing more stuff go into this little uh, utility closet. I'm going to have uh, breakers and switches, more batteries coming in, and we'll also play with this uh, big inverter as well. But for now, if you want to check out more information on the Orient Power Systems, I will have a link in the description down below. It is a commissions code, so if you use that one, I will get a small cut off of that. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Seth with Landa House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.